Honourable Prime Minister Muscat. I am grateful to the One Young World Conference for the opportunity and the privilege to voice my concerns to you about the effects of climate change on the Maltese Islands. Our country has long benefited from its status as an island state with easily accessible beaches and postcard perfect coastlines. But this rosy picture portraying the blessing that is Malta's access to the sea will soon become a curse if rising sea levels are not tackled head on. I appeal to you to keep this issue at the forefront of your discussions in Paris later on this month. It will be a number of years before land lost to water encroachment will be perceptible to the naked eye. But Malta is already struggling to guarantee adequate drinking water due to brackish water contamination. Studies suggest that by the year 2100, seawater levels would have risen by 96 centimetres. Eventually, they will reach seafront developments, the fruit of foreign investment. Construction sites are expanding, crossing boundary lines, demarcating green areas in a seemingly uncontrollable manner with little regard to sustainable development. Concerns are being raised by environmental watchdogs with regard to the height of new developments and the deprivation of solar rights to citizens who are responsibly trying to turn to sustainable sources of energy. I urge your government to manage investment in Malta in a more holistic manner, with due regard to the security and the standard of living of current and future generations. Traffic congestion is alarming. The total cost of accidents, congestion, climate change and air pollution is estimated to cost Malta around 317 million euros by 2020. Unless anything changes. And change is slow to come. Change is slow to come to the public transport system, which outgrew the village to city bus model decades ago. Traffic management requires a combination of different modes of transportation based on experience accumulated throughout the years of frustration and false starts. Change is slow to come to public perception of the reality of climate change. Malta has registered the highest increase in greenhouse gas emissions across the EU since 1990, as the majority of member states have reduced re emissions over the past 22 years. The main culprit is transport. This is the rather bleak reality. Yet, there is still a patch of fertile ground for action against climate change to take root in Malta. Your government was elected to revolutionise the energy sector with a liquefied natural gas-fired power plant. This project will ensure the island's energy demands are met at the lowest long-term cost, reducing emissions by 50% and particulate matter by 90%. That project is still in the pipeline. Do not let our hopes down. Let this project see Malta lead the way in the field of clean energy. Let it mark the beginning of an eco-legacy benefiting the 21st century, one which I hope will inspire a greener approach in the governing of our islands for years to come, and which will set the bar high for concrete commitments to tackle climate change globally. Thank you.